And good morning to you. Welcome to Breakfast at Bristol. I'm your host, Tom Taylor, again, the voice of Bristol Motor Speedway and also the host of the Tom Taylor Sports Show every day at TomTaylorSports.com, where you can find us from 11 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. So check us out there. We'd appreciate that to like us and share us and, and follow us and all those good social media terms. We're here at Bristol Motor Speedway. It is here. It is upon us. We're ready to rock and roll, as they say, to get it on. As the fans are coming in here, the campers are rolling in, and we're getting ready for a great weekend here at the world's fastest half mile. We want you to be here, of course, because there is so much going to be going on, and we're very, very excited about everything cranking up tomorrow. Oh, yes, tomorrow's Bushes Beans Poll Day, where kids get in free tomorrow. How about that? Free all day tomorrow, and, of course, all day Saturday, the doubleheader of 425 laps of racing. Kids get in free. We're going to be talking to Executive Vice President and General Manager Jerry Caldwell coming up in a few minutes. But as we talked about yesterday with two new kid zones on the concourse level here at Bristol, uh, we'll be talking about that and some other items as well. Also, there's a change for you, the fans. You're really going to like it. We'll let Jerry tell you all about that coming up here in a few minutes. And also let him comment on the sticky stuff. What is this all about? And so we'll have all that for you from Jerry coming up here in a little while. Also, a little bit later on this morning from on Facebook, we'll be joined by Jose, our buddy Jose. He's going to be out on the trail. I believe he's going to be at Bass, Bass Pro Shop, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we will do this for about 45 minutes and drop away and let Jose pick back up with it live on Facebook from Bass Pro Shop with some great announcements and some cool stuff going on there this morning. So we say good morning to you. Bush's Beans Poll Day tomorrow. It is a busy day on on track. Everything quiet today. It's the calm before the storm because the gladiators will be here tomorrow. Again, we start at 1130 tomorrow with the first practice of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series at 1130 tomorrow. Then we come right back at 1 o'clock, the first of two practices for the NASCAR Xfinity Series for the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300 on Saturday. And so those stars of that particular series will be out and about at 1 o'clock and 330 tomorrow. Then at 445 tomorrow, we will crown a new Coors Light Pole qualifying champion, if you will, when the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series does their qualifying tomorrow at 445. As you know by now, we've told you, and you know that Carl Edwards is not on the circuit. He sat on the pole last year for the 24th installment of the Food City 500, so that will be a chance to see a new pole qualifier tomorrow at 445. Then tomorrow evening, everybody will leave, head on out, get ready to settle in right outside turn four for the 30th anniversary of food city family race night tomorrow night so it's all good it's going to be a lot of fun and so uh, that's just on friday and again reminding you kids get in free tomorrow uh, all day long on bush's beans poll day bush's beans by the way one of our great sponsors it is a company located here in the hills of east tennessee bush's beans of course they're in all food cities and and so it's a product that a lot of folks use and enjoy all the time, and it's made and produced right here in the hills of East Tennessee, so they're our great poll day sponsor. Saturday, everything gets going at 8.30 on Saturday morning with another NASCAR Cup Series practice. Then at 9.35 on Saturday morning, poll qualifying for the Xfinity Series race. That will be later on that day. The final practice for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, folks, will be at 11 o'clock on Saturday. And then at 1 o'clock on Saturday, we drop the green flag for the Fitzgerald Glider Kids 300. Coming right back behind that will be the Canin Series with the Zombie Auto 125. So 425 laps of racing for you on Saturday. And remember, kids, moms and dads, grandmas and granddads, uh, legal guardians, whoever you may be that bring kids to the track, remember, they get in free all day Saturday. And then on Sunday at 2 o'clock, we'll drop the green flag for the Food City 500. And, yes, Kids pay only $10 to come up and watch the Stars and NASCAR go 500 laps in the Food City 500. So lots going on. Tickets, you crank them up at 1-866-415-4158. Cranking up means that's where you get on the phone and get those tickets. 1-866-415-4158, 423-BRISTOL. That's the other chance and the other way to call, of course. And then on the uh, Internet, you simply go to BristolTix.com. So that's what's happening. And, again, we are very, very excited about folks coming to town and ready to go for the greatest racing in NASCAR here at the world's fastest half mile. As you know, we are implementing and have implemented the stages for 2017. Just to give you an idea, for the Cup Series on Sunday, Stage 1 will be at 125 laps. Stage 2, they'll stop it in the end of the 250th lap. And, of course, the final and they'll wrap things up and crown the new champion of the Food City 500 on the 500th lap, and that will be on Sunday. On Saturday, the stage racing goes as follows. For the Xfinity Series, stage one ends on lap 85, stage two ends on lap 170, rather, and then the final lap, of course, the uh, 
Final lap wraps up the obvious. Fitzgerald Glider gets 300, 300th lap that will crown a new champion or maybe the same champion. Last year, Eric Jones came on strong at the end and, and outdueled some great cup drivers to win his first ever win at Bristol Motor Speedway last Saturday, or I should say Saturday of last year. And then, of course, as we told you, Carl Edwards brought home the checkers of the Food City 500, so we'll crown a new champion there for sure coming up again on Sunday. Lots to talk about. Sunday pre-race, we have told you all week long about the country music concert, the up-and-comer Russell Dickerson. How up-and-coming is he? This guy is hot. Goodness gracious. 37 million on-demand streams and more than 2.9 million views on YouTube. He's got a new single coming out in a couple of weeks called Yours, and so it's been impacting country radio. Dickerson's uh, CD, Yours, also a success, debuting at number two in the iTunes Country Store. And so this gentleman's in town, in concert, on Sunday before the start of the Food City 500. He is currently out on tour on the home team with country music. It's called the home team tour, rather. Country music star Thomas Rhett. And so he is ready to roll. Tickets for the Food City 500 weekend are still available, of course. Now, if you'd like to get down up close and personal to see this outstanding young country music star, Russell Dickerson, you can do that with a pre-race super pass. And that will put you stage side down on the track for the concert featuring Russell Dickerson. The Super Pass also includes a track walk and a track access for Bristol's wildly popular Food City 500 driver intros. It was a lot of fun. They will come out. It's pretty cool. If you've never been here, the drivers pick their own music. It's about a uh, six, seven, eight-second snippet of their favorite song. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they will come out to that particular song, and they get very, very creative. You never know what they're going to do, uh, what they're going to say. A lot of the drivers will bring their kids out, and they'll be dressed up or whatever, come down the come down a ramp, they take the microphone, introduce themselves, and it's really a neat uh, neat experience. And so the driver intro is always exciting, always unpredictable here at the world's fastest half mile. So before all that, Russell Dickerson in concert Sunday down on the track. If you're interested in getting that up close and personal pre-race super pass, uh, there are a few still available. You can give them a call at 423-BRISTOL. 1-866-415-4158, or go to bristolticks.com. That's the way to get those tickets to see Russell Dickerson. Hey, thanks. Good morning to you. Welcome. It is breakfast at Bristol here at the world's fastest half mile. We're located in the coolest gift shop anywhere. Now, if you're a NASCAR fan, but more importantly, a Bristol Motor Speedway fan, you want to come to this particular location once you get here on property. Of course, we have souvenir trailers all throughout property, but this is kind of the, the mothership, if you will, because this is the stationary year-round gift shop, gift shop and store inside of the Bruton Smith building. And so can't see us back behind me here, but we have 120 different ball caps, 120 different types of ball caps. There's a BMS, driver ball caps, even NHRA, Thunder Valley. Of course, we have the drags coming in, the, the Thunder Valley drags, Father's Day weekend here. We have some hats for the NHRA fans as well. We have 72 different types of ball caps involving drivers. So even little people's caps all the way up to adult caps, of course. Here are the, and I want to get, show you the three. Here we go. We'll do show and tell. Here's the official This Weekend Food City 500 ball caps. This one is obviously black. On the back has the date. It has the 25th anniversary Food City 500 Bristol Motor Speedway. There's your black one. Here is the camo. Right here, as you can get inside the uh, gift shop here. Same thing with the date on the back of it. This is the camo version. And then the final version, of course, the other option is the gray. I guess you'd call that gray. Uh, kind of off-white. No, I'd call that gray. Gray, blue, and red. Food City 500. So you go to a big league ballparks, Patrick. Go to other places. Patrick's a producer off camera. You can't see him, but uh, we couldn't do this out of him. When you go to big league ballparks, go somewhere else. Uh, ball caps generally cost you how much? If you go to a, to a big league ballpark, Patrick, what do you think they cost you? Exactly. Right on. Spot on. Forty-five, fifty bucks for ball caps at other pro sport venues, but here at Bristol Motor Speedway, these are twenty-five dollars. So I want you to know that you can uh, buy those. You can go online again at BristolMotorSpeedway.com, where it says shop, and go right down to all the different items, BMS, and they'll ship them to you. So uh, it's all good. And so uh, those are the three official ball caps this weekend for the twenty-fifth anniversary of the Food City. 500. We say good morning to you. Breakfast at Bristol. We thank you very much for being with us. We do want to tell you about some new things happening this year. Uh, we bring this one back uh, by much popularity by the fans. We're adding some new twists to it. Kimberlin was here yesterday to tell you about the Bristol Lawn Party. 
This is a free interactive area for adults during race weekend designed to enhance the overall race experience. In other words, have more fun as an adult here at Bristol Motor Speedway while providing a space for fans to connect with friends, play giant versions of their favorite games, and, of course, have a big-time party and do whatever you need to do. Again, the lawn party hour hours tomorrow will be from 11 to 4. This is in the fan zone near the Bristol Marquee sign, the famed Bristol Marquee sign. The fan zone, 11 to 4 tomorrow, 9 to 1 on Saturday, and 9 to one thirty on Sunday. What do you ask is inside the Bristol Lawn Party. It's free. I just want to go. All I have to do is kind of meander over there and enjoy what they've got to offer. They have soccer pool, jumbo twister, yardsy, which is a kind of a spinoff of Yahtzee, giant tic tac toe, giant checkers. They have a mechanical bull back. That's by a very popular demand to bring that back from a year ago. They have a cornhole tournament and a whole lot more. Again, so a giant beer pong, soccer pool, jumbo twister, yardsy, giant tic-tac-toe, giant checkers, cornhole, mechanical bull, more. It's all free. Again, it is in the uh, fan zone near the uh, Bristol Marquee sign. And, again, the hours when you get here, you want to certainly check that out. And not only check it out, get out there and participate. Have a good time. 11 to 4. On Friday, Saturday from 9 to 1, and Sunday from 9 to 1.30. Now, one of the things I hear a lot about when we come to race week here, the fans, when they get here, say, you know what? We've come either locally to the track or out of town, or in this case, out of country. Uh, we want to leave bills and stress and pressure and anything else behind. We're here for the weekend to forget all that, have a good time, enjoy the greatest racing at the greatest racetrack in NASCAR. And so when we get here, we want to have a good time and forget everything else we've got to deal with when we get back home. And we totally understand that. That's why we're all about making memories here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And this is one of the ways to do that is the Bristol Lawn Party. Another way to do it, of course, is the music. We have a lot of music all weekend long here in and around property at Bristol Motor Speedway. And, again, we take you to the... Uh, fan zone uh, coming up again in the north uh, the north entrance of Bristol Motor Speedway. Tomorrow we crank up the music at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. If The group's called If Birds Could Fly. We have another group that's called Wild Heart and another group called the Aaron Jackson Band. Those three are going to be playing through pretty much the betterment of the day tomorrow, beginning at 11 o'clock all the way up until about 4 o'clock. So a good chunk of the day is going to be out on the stage playing. Again, that's free. For you, the race fans, that's on Friday. Then on Saturday, we crank it back up at 10 o'clock if birds can fly. Then you have another group or a single guy that makes a lot of noise for one guy. It's called Shake It Like a Caveman. He'll be here. Also, Wild Heart, uh, again, at 11.30 on Saturday. Then the Aaron Jackson Band at 12.30 to about 1.15. So you're talking from 10 to about 1.30 on Saturday. Wall-to-wall nonstop music on the stage. It's all free for you, the race fan. Then on Sunday, you have Wild Heart at 9 o'clock, and you come back and uh, they'll go to about 10 o'clock, and then they'll have a small break. And then right around 11.30, 11.45, you'll come back with the Aaron Jackson Band. So all this, again free north entrance the fan zone so you have the bristol lawn party you have the music uh gosh you have all kinds of things to take a look at and be a part of this weekend tomorrow night let me tell you about something really cool if you've not been here either locally or out of town guest or both you want to take in the 30th anniversary of food city family race night tomorrow night right outside turn four here in the hospitality area at bristol motor speedway one of the biggest and best pre-race events in all of nascar our great a sponsor of Food City puts this on and do a phenomenal job. Again, there's going to be drivers, show cars, souvenirs, simulators, entertainers, food sampling, commercial characters, antique tractors, and more. And guess how much it costs to get in? You're not going to guess how much. It's free. It's going to be awesome. Tomorrow night from 4 to 9 o'clock, it always brings out the fans. Drivers have already signed up and committed to be there tomorrow night. Our appearances by Brad Kozlowski, Eric Amarola, Casey Kane, Kyle Bush, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Justin Allgaier, Elliot Sadler, uh, Cole Whit. Some of the folks are going to be there, and there's always some surprises or last-minute additions to the lineup, but these are confirmed. And this is from 4 until 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Also, the guy that owned this track for many, many years, the all-time wins leader at Bristol Motor Speedway, Daryl Walter will be here tomorrow night. Also, Mike Helton, Larry McReynolds will be uh, emceeing and hosting some activities up on the stage. The King Richard Petty will be here tomorrow night. Also, uh, Callie Corum, the uh, new Miss Food City 2017, will be here. Kelly Earnhardt, 
will be in the house as well tomorrow night. And uh, the list just goes on and on. Audrey McLaughlin from The Voice, season, uh, what, season six? She's going to be here as well. So it's jam-packed and, and all kinds of goodies ready to go for uh, tomorrow night. Also, it's going to be a special presentation to honor the Wood Brothers. They're back very much, have always been involved in racing and back big time with a very successful young driver right now, Ryan Blaney. So uh, they're going to be honored tomorrow night. A special presentation honoring the Wood Brothers. And also, we always love to see who Food City helps. They always have a charitable check presentations. In fact, over a half million dollars has been contributed to local charities as a result of the success of Food City Family Race Night. Half a million dollars. So all this going on tomorrow night, it'll be from 4 until 9 o'clock. It is free outside Turn 4 here in the hospitality area out on property. And so you do not want to miss tomorrow night's special 30th anniversary of Food City Family Race Night. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you get a frog, ain't no place to hide. You got to fix it. We thank you for being with us. Now, when you get here on property, you got to check this out. This is the guest guide. This is like mm, the encyclopedia, the what you need to have, must have once you get on property. This is free. This is a guest guide. This is full. I mean full. If you're a first-time visitor or you've been here every year, yesterday we had folks in here shopping in the gift shop 17 years, 18 years. We had a first-time visitor yesterday from Georgia. So uh, it runs the gamut. But everybody needs this right here. It's a guest guide. It's free. It's compliments of the Speedway. It will tell you everything you need to know this weekend about everything that you need to know about when you come to Bristol Motor Speedway. For example, it's all alphabetized, too. Where are the elevators? How do I get to the, to the fan zone? If I need first aid, where do I go for first aid? Frequencies. How about this? Here's the frequencies. When you get your scanner to listen to the race this weekend, you can they give you the list of all the different scanners. There's Kevin Harvick's. There's Landon Castles. There is Kyle Bush's. There is Michael McDowell's. All the cup drivers' frequencies are in this book. you got to have this. It's free. Gate schedules, grandstand tickets, lost and found. If you lose your keys, if you lose your ticket, if you lose a person, uh, what do you do about all that? Are there pets allowed? Then what is prohibited? What can and cannot be brought into the to the facility? They've, they've got that. In fact, I'm going to go over that here in just a second. Sweet elevator access, traffic flow after the race, will call pickup window. We have worship services on the grounds during the weekend. Where are those at? Who conducts those? I mean, it's all right here in this book. It's called The Guest Guide, April 21st to 23rd, 2017. It is obviously free, and you do not want to uh, walk around without this. I know I'm simple and I'm an old country boy, but I like the fact the way they've made it because this will fit in your back pocket if you're a guy. It will fit in the purse if you're a lady. So uh, you want to get one of these for sure and, and check those out. Here is what is prohibited at Bristol Motor Speedway. Alphabetically, we'll tell you beer balls, bicycles, coolers larger than 14 inches in diameter. We'll talk about that in a moment. Drones. Fireworks, folding chairs, glass containers, that's an obvious. Can't bring glass in here for the obvious reasons. Uh, grills, golf carts, helium balloons, hoverboards, uh, illegal drugs, that kind of goes without saying. Laser pointers, noisemakers and horns, uh, pets, except for service animals assisting the, the disabled. Roller blades and roller skates, got to leave them at home. Scaffolds or platforms, segways, selfie sticks tripods or monopods, skateboards, stadium seats wider than 17 inches, stadium seats with arms, strollers, can't have strollers, two-wheeled smart electronic scooters, umbrellas, no umbrellas. That's why we have a, a uh, store full of ponchos and jackets. To, that way, if you've got an umbrella popped up, the person behind you can't see what's going on. So no umbrellas, obviously. Weapons of any description, including guns, knives, ice picks, so on and so forth. And so... Any other item that may pay, pose a safety hazard or diminish the enjoyment of the event by another patron. All this in there, race distance, uh, it goes on and on and on. Grandstand tickets, carrying items, talking about Colossus. Uh, let me tell you about Colossus for just a second. We haven't said much about it this week because uh, we've been busy telling you about everything else. But when you get here, you're talking about being up close and personal to everything here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Why is that? It is the largest world's largest outdoor permanent center hung digital display anywhere on the globe and it's right here at bristol because at bristol we exceed expectations that's our motto each of colossus is four custom built screens approximately 30 feet tall imagine that 30 feet tall 63 feet wide 
All right. Uh, in total, the system hosts nearly 54 million LEDs and 18 million pixels. What's that mean? For us country folk, that means pictures big and bright and clear. Absolutely. Uh, again, the result is a beautiful visual experience capable of offering 281 trillion different color combinations. So it also boasts a state-of-the-art, this is what you like, too. Uh, up here in the years past, we've upgraded the sound system. You're talking about putting out some sound. It is now a 540,000-watt audio system, powering more than 450 three-way loudspeakers and 50 stadium subwoofers. So you'll be able to hear all the action, all the PA announcements. Of course, uh, when myself and David are up there doing the PA and Jose and Heather doing all the things going to be doing this weekend to entertain you, the fans, you'll be able to hear it loud and clear with a 540,000-watt audio system. Now, to tell you how far we've come there, you know the old commercial, you've come a long way, baby. Patrick's a sound guy. Patrick, you go from 2,400 watts of power <clears throat> with 10 two-way loudspeakers. <laughs> you go from 2,400 to 540,000 watts. That's putting out some juice in the big guy. It's unbelievable. And so that plus the video boards, when you get here, there's not a bad seat in the house to begin with at Bristol Motor Speedway, but on top of that is, again, the world's largest outdoor permanent center-hung digital display with 540,000 watts of sound. I mean, you are up close and personal on everything going on here at the last great Coliseum. So, anyway, all this is in this book. Uh, again, it's called The Guest Guide. Got to have one. They're available at guest welcome uh, areas. And the uh, coolers, again, I want to tell you about the coolers, up to 14 inches in size are permitted in the grandstand. Glass bottles, glass containers are not permitted inside the stadium. Coolers are not permitted in the garage infill area or on suite level. So up to 14 inches, you can bring a cooler in. You also are allowed to bring in one additional carry-in item. Uh, again, guest services, guest welcome village where you can find these. Also, for the safety of all the folks this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway, we will inspect everything going in. So Make sure you have your coolers open, have your uh, carry-on that you take in with you with you and ready to go. That way it'll speed things up to get you through the gates, get you to your seat, because you will. Uh, we are going to inspect things for the safety, and I think that goes without saying at any uh, athletic venue now in 2017 for the safety of all patrons. We make sure that happens. So just be, uh, just be aware of the fact that you're going to have things inspected, and I would think you'd appreciate that uh, for safety for everybody, because safety is our number one concern here at Bristol Motor Speedway. So that is some of the things going on. But again, one more time, uh, this guest guide. And it also talks not only about this weekend, but also on the backside. It gives you a tease about what's coming up again here in the August night race. August 19th, the Bass Pro Shop NRA night race. Toughest ticket in NASCAR is that night race here at Bristol. And so there's a little tease on the back cover about it as well. So uh, this is everything you want to know right here jam-packed in this. Actually, there's two ways. This guest guide, which is hands-on, or go to the computer and go to BristolMotorSpeedway.com and everything on that website is very pertinent to what you're going to need to know this weekend to get in here. Again, we thank you. We welcome you. It's Breakfast at Bristol. I'm your host, Tom Taylor, again, the voice of Bristol Motor Speedway, uh, also the host of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Uh, again, we're heard every day from 11 to 1 at TomTaylorSports.com. Like us, follow us, and share us. We would thank you for that, and we'd appreciate that very much. All right, for this weekend, if you are here and you are going to get your tickets for 2018, if you purchase or renew tickets for next year, uh, you get a couple of cool options. One of those is a Riley Auto Parts soft-sided cooler and a couple of koozies or a pair of Mechanics Wear gloves. You'll also get to pick from a track walk pass or a victory lane pass. Cool stuff, and that's if you upgrade your tickets or you uh, re-up or if you uh, renew or re-up for 2018 or purchase them as a brand-new season ticket holder while you're here this weekend. You will get... Those two options in O'Reilly Auto Parts, soft-sided cooler and a couple of koozies or a pair of mechanics wear gloves and so and also a track walk pass or a victory lane pass, which is a really cool thing to take in as well. So uh, just be mindful of that when you come to town this weekend. If you want to get season tickets for next year or renew this year's, there are some very, very cool incentives to do that. So uh, we're going to talk about the kids zone coming up in just a few minutes when Jerry gets here. Uh, again, the executive vice president and general manager, Jerry Caldwell, is going to join us. Uh, that would be the big guy, if you will. And he'll be joining us coming up here in just a few minutes. Park and ride this weekend. It gets really congested around here at times. So uh, what we want to tell you about is an opportunity for you to park and ride. What do you mean, Tom? What are you talking about? Well, 
Satellite parking allowing you to park away from the track. Come up right to the front gates of Bristol Motor Speedway via a shuttle bus to avoid congested driving. Again, it's only a $20 round trip, 10 bucks up, 10 bucks back. We have four places to uh, bring you and take you on Sunday. Uh, we'll be at Bristol, Virginia at Sugar Hollow Park on Lee Highway between exits 7 and 10 on Interstate 81 in Johnson City. That's going to be at East Tennessee State University on the corner of West State of Franklin University Parkway. Pickup times, by the way, which is very important, 1030 on Sunday. Again, you park it, give them 10 bucks up, 10 bucks back, and you can ride right to the front gates of Bristol. About 45 minutes after the race, we'll load you back up, take you right back to your vehicle, and you just leave the driving to us. King Sports, Sullivan North High School, John B. Dennis Highway. Pickup time there, 1030 on Sunday. Sullivan Central High School, again in Bluntville, off of Interstate 81, exit 66. Uh, that also is a pickup place, park and ride, so 1030 at all four locations. Good morning. How you doing? What's your name? Come over here a minute. I want to talk to you. Come over here, big guy. Come on over here. I'll let him sit down right here. Come over here for just a second. Turn his microphone on. Sit down to this seat and take this microphone, handsome young man. What's your name, sir? Evan. Evan? How old are you? Nine. Nine years old, and where are you from? Turner, Maine. Where? Maine. You're from Maine? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. Have you ever been to Bristol before? Yep. Let me hold this for you right here so I can hold it. You have been to Bristol? Yep. Tell me what the look at look at that camera right there, Evan. Tell me what's really cool about Bristol Motor Speedway. Mm -hmm. What do you like about the track and the racing? There's a lot of crashes. A lot of crashes. I love it. Good stuff. Now, who's your favorite driver? Kyle Busch. Kyle, mm, Kyle Busch. All right. Now, of all the drivers, tell me why you like Kyle Busch. Because mm. he wins? Yeah. Because he wins, yeah. Now, who's the lady over here grinning off camera? Hmm? Who is that lady? Is that your mama? Mm -hmm. There you go. So you guys are down in from Maine. And so this is how many times have you been to Bristol? Twice. Twice. You love it, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool stuff. All the way from Maine. Now, do your friends back in school, do they like NASCAR too? Kind of. Kind of. Not like Evan, though, does? No. Nope. Yeah, that's cool. He's in there for the weekend. Look in that camera, Evan, and give him a big smile and say, it's Bristol, baby. Would you do that? Mm -hmm. It's Bristol, baby. There you go. Good job, Evan. Thank you, sir. Give me some taters. We're glad you're here. Good job. All right. Evan's here from Maine in her shopping in the gift shop. Cool stuff. Little guy likes Kyle Busch, and that's a good thing. So uh, it's all good. We like all of our drivers, of course. But, uh, again, we appreciate Evan from the state of Maine. See, you never know. This week, sitting in this spot here in the inside the gift shop at Speedway World, we've had Ontario. We've had Georgia. We've had Pennsylvania. We've had Michigan. We've had uh, Nova Scotia, the McMillans yesterday. We've had Twin Falls, Idaho. We've had Charlotte. We've had a young lady from Chattanooga. Uh, let's see, had a gentleman from uh, Roswell, Georgia. So we've had just just sitting right here inside the uh, gift shop. It's all good. Some of my favorite ones, because every year it happens. We get some Kiwis and we get some Aussies. At least one pair every year. They're always fun guys. Kiwis and Aussies. Now, who are, now educate me. What's a Kiwi? Ah. Kiwis and Aussies. So folks in New Zealand are Kiwis. Folks from Australia that come up here are Aussies. So we have uh, no less than six, seven countries represented here this weekend in all 50 states. And so Evan and his mom are here from the great state of Maine. I want to say University of Maine are the Maine Black Bears, I think, for whatever that's what. Am I right? Good job. That's a lucky shot. So anyway, we're glad they're here from the – from the state of Maine, and that you just never know who's going to be here and hanging out. Now, tonight, big event right upstairs uh, with Speedway Children's Charities, the big dinner coming up tonight. Uh, this is happening at 630 upstairs, third floor of the Bruton Smith Building. And the Speedway Children's Charities annual Speedway Children's Charities dinner being held tonight at 630 on the third floor. Uh, if you're interested in coming, uh, I don't know if there's any spots left, but you can call and see. At 989-6975 is the number to call. 423-989-6975. And again, tonight's guest speaker will be the legendary Mark Martin, who has been quite successful over the years. Of course, now retired, but quite successful back in the day here at Bristol Motor Speedway. He will be the guest tonight, the guest speaker. And, of course, they auction different things off, and it's just a very special night to raise money for Speedway Children's Charities. Also, starting tomorrow, 
the most popular or uh, here the most popular participant sport in America is playing cornhole. And so tomorrow, the Meat Tractor, our local John Deere dealership, Meat Tractor Charity Cornhole Tournament tomorrow, starting tomorrow and Saturday, then wrapping up on Sunday. And wrapping up, the Grand Championship team will win $1,000 on Sunday. How about that? They can register, and you can register. It's $40 a team. Each player receives a commemorative gift. Prizes will be awarded for the top qualifying teams, and the Grand Championship team will win, as we said, $1,000. You go to bristol.speedwaycharities.org. You can also register on site. Qualifiers take place tomorrow at 2 and at 5 o'clock, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, Saturday evening at 6. We'll whittle it down and do a process of elimination with the Grand Championship being held on Sunday at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. And so, uh, again, if you're interested in playing charity cornhole tournament, it's all it's a cross really between uh, bean bags and, and horseshoes. If you ever played cornhole, it's, it's a fun game, cool game. And so they're doing it for uh, Speedway Children's Charities coming up again, as we said, starting tomorrow. Also, you have until tomorrow to bid on the ride of a lifetime. Patrick, this is one of the coolest things out there, my friend, the ride of a lifetime. Patrick's off camera. He's a, you keep saying, who's, who's Patrick? He's the guy over there. He's our producer, makes this thing go. But the ride of a lifetime, he's had a chance to, to video some of these in the past. What this is, you bid on a chance to ride around the track. Pre-race ceremonies here at Bristol Motor Speedway for the Food City 500 will be Chevrolet pickup trucks. We introduced the drivers. As we told you earlier, they come down the ramp again out of turn three, and they to the music they pick, they'll say, Hi, I'm such and such. They'll have something to say. It gets the crowd revved up. Uh, a couple of times over the last years, uh, we've had folks kind of uh, drop the gauntlet, if you will, to other drivers. And so after that, they'll get on these pickup trucks and go around the track, waving at the folks in pre-race. And so the ride of a lifetime is you bid on that chance to ride in that truck with that driver, just you and that driver. So you're with your favorite driver for about, oh, I don't know, what is it, Patrick, five, six, seven minutes around the track. And so it's you one-on-one, photo ops. They'll sign things for you. You're up in the bed of the pickup truck, leaning on top of the cab, waving to the crowd with your favorite driver. It is a really cool experience. It's called Ride of a Lifetime. You can go to the website right now and bid on that because the bidding stops tomorrow. I think Betsy told us earlier in the week from Speedway Children's about 12 or 15 drivers uh, are there and are going to be there. It's a Ride of a Lifetime. Go to sccauctions.com. SCCauctions.com is what you want to do. And so uh, you can go there and bid, and you have until tomorrow to bid on the ride of a lifetime. I know uh, in the past you've had all the big guys, Kyle Busch and, and Junior and Harvick, and, and so they like it. The, the drivers love riding around with a, dri- a fan that loves them for five, six, seven, eight minutes and taking pictures and have a photo op. So, again, check that out, sccauctions.com. Go there and bid. It's the ride of a lifetime again. And, again, you have until tomorrow to bid on that. And then uh, we'll uh, be in touch with the winning folks, and you'll be ready to go coming up again on uh, on Sunday. So ride of a lifetime. What an experience. So here he comes. We've got him in here. We are tickled to death to bring in our executive vice president and general manager, Jerry Caldwell. And good morning, sir. How Hello, you doing? Hello, my friend. I'm doing oh, great. Man. How are you? Oh, I love it. It's race weekend. We are revved up, jacked up, and ready to go. And we've got a lot of neat things to talk about here in the next couple of minutes. And so... Uh, as you always do and do so well, it, they're here just this morning. We've talked to folks in Nova Scotia from Maine. A little guy just had on the, on the show over here. Evan from Maine is in town. Uh, Nova Scotia, uh, Ontario, Pennsylvania, Michigan. Welcome the race fans. They're here. We love it. Wow. Isn't that cool? It is cool. That, uh, we've got that type of place. The history of this place is just amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, from what it was back in 1960 when it was being built to open in 61, in the middle of uh, what is essentially used to be cow fields and uh, <laughs> now with what Bruton Smith has done with this place that it's a modern day coliseum really mm-hmm. and the last great coliseum it's such a special place but what makes it so special are the people that come absolutely I think, uh, last statistic I heard we've got people from all 50 states mm-hmm. and 13 different countries that have purchased tickets and we wouldn't be who we are without the fans that's uh, that's why we're here Bruton Smith and Marcus Smith remind us often we work for the race fans. They sign our checks, but we work for the race fans. And I'm just uh, humbled and, and honored that they would mm-hmm. come join us and choose Bristol. I know why you choose Bristol. Uh, I'm partial, obviously, but there's no other place like it on the planet. Nope. Uh, there's no other place to see a race, 
from the high bank short track racing, but there's also no other place for the, the beauty of this region, the people of this region. They just have a natural hospitality that is, I've not found anywhere else in the world. Um, so thank you to the race fans that have come from all over the world to join us. Uh, it really is a special place, and we have a mission here to, to exceed your expectations, and we want to try to do that. And if there's something we can do to help you out, call us. Come by the office and talk to us. Um, we truly mean that when we say we want to exceed your expectations. And we want to hear good stuff and bad stuff, so give us feedback after the race. Be honest with us and tell us how we can improve and also what you liked so that we'll know to continue to do that. We're talking to Executive Vice President and General Manager Jerry Caldwell here at Breakfast at Bristol. Good morning, wherever you are. I know yesterday we had folks watching in Iowa and England. We had feedback there and, and all over the country and all over the globe, so thank you for that. Jerry, we're always trying to change things for the fans, make it better for the fans, and so uh, we've changed Victory Lane. I think this is going to be awesome. Tell us about that for, for the race fans. Yeah, we've uh, talked about this for a little while but wanted to make sure that we could execute and do it well and everybody would be on board. So. Uh, we're going to move Victory Lane from where it has been for many years on top of the building over in turn three to the start finish line and take it closer to the fans. And we'll see how it works. You know, uh, we're uh, the fun thing about working for Bruton and Marcus is they'll let you try about anything. So we're going to try this and see how it goes. Uh, there are some concerns, some logistical concerns of trying to get people in and get the cars down. And um, but we're going to give it a shot. We think it's the right thing to do to try to take it closer to the race fans. So. Uh, we're going to move it over to the start-finish line and uh, and have some fun. More fan accessible. It's the name of the game. Again, exceeding expectations and making memories. And so we're looking forward to that. That's going to be a change and looking forward to that coming up on Sunday. Then, of course, we're all about kids here. In fact, it's really neat. We've told you all week long. We are letting kids get to come here tomorrow for free. And then Saturday, 425 laps of racing for free for kids 12 and under. And so once they get here, Jerry, not only get in free, and only a $10 ticket on Sunday to see the, uh, the greatest cup drivers in the world, of course, the Food City 500. But we've added, first, we've already had some kid zones. We've added two new kid zones. So when they get here, over and above the great racing, they're going to get a chance to have some cool fun. Tell me about it. Well, um, this was an initiative that really Marcus Smith, our CEO, took on uh, the end of last year saying we have to make our – our racetracks more accessible uh, mm -hmm. to the fans and and got nascar on board uh, for most all of the racetracks across the across the country but all speedway motorsports tracks are now free for kids 12 and under for mm -hmm. qualifying pole day for truck races and for xfinity races so friday and saturday here's completely free and then sunday as you said is ten dollars only to get into a cup race uh, which is amazing i've got mm -hmm. four kids i know how expensive it is to entertain <laughs> them uh, but I also know that they have short attention spans, and while they'll enjoy the race for a while, they probably want to go do something else and then come back and watch some more racing. So if if you're going to bring the kids out, we wanted to make sure that it was going to be a great experience. The last thing we want to do is get a kid out here and they not enjoy what they're doing. So uh, easy to get in, and then we added two new kids zones so that the kids could easily get to somewhere to, to go entertain themselves, go jump around on a jumpy castle or face painting or coloring or whatever uh, play video games, and then go back to your seat for a while. So these new two new kid zones, one's kind of over in the turn four area and then one over in the one and two area. Uh, and then we have the massive kid zone outside still with jumpy castles and a zip line, and um, it is so much fun. And all really, if you come on Friday or Saturday, for completely free. Yep, rock wall, Euro bungee. So we have the big one out front, as we've told you, out near the tower, again in the north entrance. But then we also have, as he's mentioning, two new inside the uh, racetrack facility on the concourse level. So we've got kid zones. We'll be telling about that all weekend long here. Uh, last but not least, we're bringing back, and the fans loved it, the drivers loved it, Sticky Stuff's coming back. It'll be great. <laughs> sticky Stuff. What is Sticky Stuff? I That's what everybody know. asks me. <laughs> I always tell them it's a whole bunch of stuff with the main ingredient being Mountain Dew. Yes, um, but, uh, yes, we are. It's a VHT compound that we are, we've uh, added. It's really – this is kind of a throwback approach to, to the way promoters used to manage racetracks. You know, if you wanted to open up a groove, you'd add a little uh, – either some sealer or some VHT-type sticky stuff to allow <laughs> drivers to have some more room to run. Uh, and that's essentially what we've done to to make that lower groove a bit more attractive uh, and to allow those guys to move down there. We've added this compound, also drag tires over it to put rubber down on the track. We've done that already, several treatments. Uh, and then the plan is we'll try to do that after each day um, to 
make sure that the next day that it's fresh and and allow those those drivers to dive down to the bottom and see how it how it goes for them so it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out especially with this new stage format with stage racing Mm -hmm. um you know one of the things that we have heard from some of the drivers about the sticky stuff if you will is that as the race goes on it might wear out a little bit and the line moves back up the racetrack well if you throw in the stage format with that that means 125 laps Mm -hmm. in that sticky stuff's probably still going to be working down there. Uh, it's going to allow for some really interesting racing and, and excitement. It's all about drama and, and building suspense and the unknown, and that's what it's going to do for all of us. Absolutely, because it's Bristol, baby. I know you're busy. I appreciate you coming by, but uh, with the stage is set, it's going to be a fantastic weekend starting tomorrow. Bush is being pole day, and again, as you said, we're just tickled to death. The fans are coming our way, right? Absolutely. This is what we work for all year. This is this is Christmas for us, so just glad to have them with us, and thank you for what you do, Tom. Appreciate you being here, and look forward to seeing all the fans stop by and say hello to us. It's Bristol, baby. It's Bristol, baby. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. Great guy right there again. He and his staff, let me just say, they bust their tails year-round. Uh, they're already working on spring next year. Then they've already got the fall race rolling. So uh, it's not they don't wake up in March and say, gosh, we got we to gotta race. And I'm not kidding you. Behind the scenes, I can tell you, they're already planning for next year's Food City 500. It's, it's nonstop here. They are constantly pushing the needle to make it exceed expectations for you and for all the fans. So uh, we certainly appreciate that very much. We're going to step away in about five minutes, and we're going to be joining, uh, if you hang right with us here on Facebook, Jose is going to join us from Bass Pro Shop. Jose is one of the staff members here that on the weekend that uh, he and Heather and myself and David McGee make up the – a big time. Well, this morning he's going to be down at Bass Pro Shop here in the uh, Bristol area with some cool things going on. So we're going to step away on our final installment here, Breakfast at Bristol, and we will rejoin. Or you'll be able to rejoin Jose coming up in about three or four minutes. And so we encourage you to do that. One more time, here's your tickets and ticket prices: one eight six six four one five four one five eight four two three Bristol. And also on the Internet, just go to BristolTix.com. We want you here this weekend. We want you here in the fall with the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race. As Jerry said and and little Evan says, man, I like coming here from Maine because there's lots of crashes. This is, we call it the last great coliseum for a reason. The gladiators are here. And, of course, I think, this is me talking, I think come this weekend uh, the gloves are going to come off and it's going to get down and dirty. It's going to be some beating and banging and rubbing and racing. In fact, I've told some of my friends, uh, this is going to be a hurt feeling weekend. I think some drivers will get some hurt feelings because they're going to get into the wall. They're going to get tapped. They're going to get shoved. They're going to get nudged. Again, rubbing and racing and beating and banging is the only they do here at Bristol Motor Speedway. So, uh, again, tickets are available. Uh, again, you can buy the season pass for both the spring and the fall race. You can get tickets just for the two days this weekend. Uh, again, that would be Saturday and Sunday. If you just can only get here on Saturday or just get here on, on Sunday, whichever, uh, please get in here and watch this great racing. Uh, there is short track racing at its best. This, this track epitomizes and defines short track racing, the heartbeat of, of stock car racing, in my humble opinion. one 415 4158 also 423 Bristol. That's your way you can call in and find out about tickets or get on the Internet and say bristolticks.com or type it in, and you can get all the information you can about the uh, great racing coming up here this weekend, beginning tomorrow. Again, the Bushes Beans Poll Day tomorrow. Everything starts right around 1130 with poll qualifying 445 for the Food City 500, the 25th installment of said race. Only sponsorship longer in NASCAR is Coca-Cola. So what a partnership between Bristol Motor Speedway and Food City. Saturday, of course, it all gets started at 830 with practicing and poll qualifying for the Xfinity Series. And then at 1 o'clock Saturday, we'll do a double dip with the Xfinity Series, the Fitzgerald Glider Kits 300, race number one. Race number two, the uh, Zombiata 125. Again, that will be... Again, the Canyon Series, the defending champ Eric Jones in the Xfinity race, Chad Fincham out of nearby Knoxville, the defending champ of the Canyon race. And then on Sunday, we'll get ready and get going with the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series of Food City 500. Who's going to win the 25th race of this great, great race again at Bristol Motor Speedway? Seven drivers in the field have won the race. Again, a neat stat, as we've told you all week long. Out of the seven drivers, collectively, they've won 12 races together. That's half of the Food City 500. So it is going to be great. And so get your tickets one more time, 1-866-415-4158. 
also 423 Bristol, and also BristolTicks.com. So for Jerry Caldwell, Patrick Savage, Drew Bedard, thank you for giving us a watch and listen this week. Tomorrow we'll be at work here for Bush's Beans Poll Days. This is our last installment. Thank you again for, again, being with us, and we hope to see you here this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. And remember, as always, whew, it's not just another race, folks.